Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Julian from Blurting Out and I'm so excited to be bringing you guys the second part of this Xenoverse 2 walkthrough. Now as you can see I'm right by the story uh, about to go on this first time patrol as I get some stretches in. You know, gotta warm up. Warm up. Yes, I would like to go on a time patrol. That's why I'm standing here. Okay, so let's see. So, guys, what do you like about uh, Xenoverse 2 so far? Uh, how do you like the story if you made it farther along? Uh, if you made it past the beta missions? Uh, do you like the gameplay? What don't you like about it? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, you know, why, while you're watching my video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, okay. Alright, my turn. Let's get it. Got my theme. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Alright, everyone. Take five. Let's start again. Hear my theme music. Alright, bring it on. Ready to. Oh, just defeat Raditz. Okay. Sure, Goku, no problem. Uh, as you can tell, we're still on the beta missions. Um, if you play, if you were able to play the open, open or closed beta, uh, you you were able to play through the Sand Saga and through, I want to say through the Ginyu. Yeah. Yeah. But but let's see if I can get this perfect off Reddit. Let's see. I'm, I'm still getting used to some of the newer controls, um, but so far I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. I probably won't be giving out like like a full review of the game until I'm actually done with the story itself. And just like that, made made light work of Raditz. Got that Z rank, the highest in the game. And that's pretty much it. Yeesh. I know that hurt. Ooh wee. All right, time to leave. I I saved the timeline. Time to time to bounce. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If Lord Slug and Turles was there the whole time, why couldn't Goku, you know, when he wasn't dead, why didn't Goku nor Piccolo sense that they were there? I mean, I, I mean, I'm sure Radish knew they were there. He, they were there because he has the scouter. I guess. Oh, thank you.
Well, I'm looking forward to it. She's got a point. The guys were roasting each other. That's funny. So I just have a question. Is this training just giving advice because that'd be kind of cool if we could train under the, under the elder Kai but but if this training is just advice then, then that's pointless are we actually training under him or is it just advice oh well oh also guys uh let me know in the comment section below, do you want me to just continue doing the story mode? Uh, all the videos just doing the main mission, or do you want me to include uh, like the parallel quests and the instructor trainings and all that good stuff? Do you want me to include everything or just the story mode? Uh, please let me know what you would like. Uh, what what you would like for me to do in terms of how you want these videos to come out. Now, I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. And that's about it. And that's the... Yeah. Okay, so as some of you guys know, if you watched my last video, I do not have my Xenoverse 1 character. Due to my last PSN account getting hacked, and the person who hacked my account bought over $200 worth of stuff, and within me telling PSN, you know, that my account was hacked, he bought this, this, and this, and I had to basically shut down my credit card, I had to cancel it, had to freeze the account so he wouldn't take any more money. Uh, come to find out, two days later, my account was banned. And when I went to ask PSN, they were like, oh, until you pay that remaining balance, you are not able to get your account back. And I was like, I told you my account was hacked. Why would I pay something I never bought in the first place? It just makes no sense. And because I bought Xenoverse 1 through the store, I lost everything, basically, because I had to start all over again. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I do not get any of the stuff that comes with having the previous game save data already on the system. I mean, I could have bought Xenoverse 1, but I was like, what's the point of me buying a game I've already paid for and beat, for that matter, a second time around? It just seems kind of pointless, in my opinion. But that's just me. But as you can see, I went with JL. Just pick the random. Okay, check out the academy as well as doing a parallel quest. Okay. And we're here. Okay, we're at the academy. I really do like how how Kanton City, how it's the open world has gotten a lot better from the first one. I really do enjoy that. I really do like that part about the game so far. Oh, oh. Oh, come at me. Come at me. She's trying to challenge me to a 1v1? 
A one v one. Okay. Okay, Sanud. Sanud. Uh, 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 can 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 I can I just call you? Sa no, never mind. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care enough. Catch these hands. Starting off with a nice twenty plus hit combo. Yeah, as soon as as soon as I'm able to get get the combos down like I want them to, it's on. Everybody is getting it. No one is safe. I'm not giving no mercy to anyone. Everyone is catching these hands. Ugh. Oh, 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 god, that was a fail. Completely missed. Hmm. But can I get a perfect? That's what I'm really worried about. Can I get this perfect? Wipe my hands clean. Get your weight up next time you want to challenge me. I got the perfect. <laughs> I'm feeling good right now. To be quite honest. I'm feeling real good. Now, to be honest, guys, what was the reason why you decided to buy Xenoverse 2? Did you just uh, decide to buy it because you're new to the series and you wanted to start it on a fresh game? Instead of an old one, or did you already buy Xenoverse 1 and you were hyped like I was, like I am, for Xenoverse 2 and how the storyline will not only be different from Xenoverse 1 concerning Dragon Ball and concerning Dragon Ball Z's story? Uh, th that's why I'm most excited for this game. I, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this game in terms of how the storyline will pan out. And how it is different from Xenoverse 1. Yes. So I was supposed to keep that scouter on? Oh. My fault. Whoops. Pick up these items using circle. Okay. Okie dokie. That doesn't sound too hard. Now, if you already played the first one, uh, yeah, we already know what these parallel quests about. They get a lot harder as you advance through the story, and basically, you're, you're going to need to be beating these parallel quests as you go along through the main story in order to actually beat the main story. But, you know, I, I'm up for these challenges. Doing these parallel quests are always kind of fun. And I also heard that they were bringing raids into the game. Like these raid quests where you fight Majin Vegeta. And as a community to take it, it's held down. Uh, you know, as I was watching Rhyme Style's video explanation of it. That sounds like a lot of fun. To be honest. that That's, that's actually something really exciting that I've never actually seen before in a Dragon Ball game. And, I, and I'm all up for the multiplayer experience in terms of games like these. Oh, so we're just supposed to lock on to the alley to revive them. Then what was that about pressing circle? There's a Krillin owned cow joke here. By Team Four Star, that I know they're probably going to use in their in their walkthrough of this game. <laughs> and who is it? See, see now, Krillin, come on, come on. These guys are light work. It's not even a challenge. Look at this. Basically, like just one long combo thanks to Goku's comment. Just making light work of these guys. Nothing new. 
Who's next? Come on, I want a challenge. Who's the enemy? Wait, wait, am I looking the wrong direction? Oh, oh, there we are. Kai Waliman. Okay. Are you stronger than a Cyberman or are you just an advanced form of one? Okay, let's go with advanced form. You can you get perfect shot too. I would not allow one of you Cybermen creature like things to land a hit on you. Oh come on. Gotcha. Oh, I sent you to a tree? Ew. Wait. Okay, who's who are they? Oh, view their power level. Okay. Level one, level two, level one. Okay. Oh, come on. Little cool HBK. You must have loved watching Shawn Michaels growing up. But that would not save you from catching these hands. Come on. Oh no. You get no mercy just like everyone else. Just found something there. Yeah, with this game, as much as I've played so far, I would say build up stamina. Uh, I would say build up stamina as much as you can, and watch out for a stamina break if anybody uses those on you, because you could, yeah, you could take a lot of damage when those are when those are performed correctly. If you're on the receiving end, that is. Don't miss a chance for a challenger if you see a time controller train. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I watch way too much Team Four Star, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just too funny. I mean, Yamcha is basically useless, and Tien takes steroids. I mean, how else does he get that much bigger? <laughs> And like I said, Yamcha is useless. Easy. Once again, you made light work of him. So you, so you three just decide to gang up on Tien. Make that four. Oh no, he dodged. Oh no. There we go. Did I do it? Awesome ultimate finish uh, If you don't know what the ultimate finish is in terms of these parallel quests That basically means you completed everything that there is to do in the parallel quest you completed all the objectives You basically done everything that there is to do in a parallel quest and you get you get uh, the I want to say you get a lot more rewards than just completing it That, but that was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying the game right now. Um, I would say please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will try my best to upload, I would say, one to three times a week, if not daily. Uh, especially with a fresh new game like this. Uh, this is Julian from Blurting Out, and I'm signing off. Have a great day, and remember...
to blur it out. Goodbye.